It's my first video of 2020, and if you've seen my other best of videos, I'm sorry. This isn't going to be like any of the previous years. I haven't given very much thought into the best of 2019. 2019 was the year of the pod. Also, it was the first year of being home, back home, and with my son out of the hospital, and a lot of my time went to being a new mom of a very medically fragile child. As most of you may know, and if you don't, my son had four open heart surgeries, five closed heart procedures before he was five months old. It was a lot at the end of 2018. So yes, I took a lot of my time and spent it with my family. I only made a hundred vape review videos in 2019. So it really narrows it down this year. Previous years I've done like, I used to do like five vape videos a week, of course, when I wasn't a mom and had all of this extra time to do that. So again, I'm sorry, but this is just the way of the world. But I do have a few things I wanted to mention as my best best of 2019s because they are still at my computer desk even into this year. So they must be good, right? If they're still there and I'm still like picking and choosing from them. First off, I just, I'm gonna say it, the best vape company in my personal opinion for 2019 for me was UL. They came out with a lot of different things and I was never ever disappointed in what they came out with. Even in 2018, they came out with a lot of awesome things and I was never, I, I haven't been disappointed in a UL product in as long as I can remember. They're also still one of the only companies that actually sends me products for review. Everything else is either bought and paid for by me, hence why there's not as much content for you guys because I'm not going to shell out <laughs> hundreds of dollars for vape stuff when honestly I vape so so much less than I have. Like every year it's getting less and less. And 2019, I'm gonna be real honest with you guys, I only vape when I go out with my friends or when I'm like having a girls night, um, when I'm drinking, which is very rare now too. I used to drink a lot more and have a lot more fun and party and hello, I wasn't a mom, but that's just, I've changed so I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. And I just wanna be fully transparent with you guys that I, I don't, sit in my house and vape anymore. I don't vape in the car. My son is always with me. I don't vape around him, period. This room that I'm in, which is my office, that yes, I know it sounds echoey, it's because there's not much up on the walls. This is the only place in my house that I vape or maybe in the garage if I'm like out there organizing or looking for something in totes, but I just, I don't. And that was always my ultimate goal. Once I decided that I was going to use vaping to quit smoking because it wasn't always my original plan, I didn't think I was going to be able to quit smoking at first. And I've said this too, but once I decided that I was going to use vaping to quit smoking, I knew then and there from the very beginning that I wasn't always going to vape either, that eventually I would want to stop vaping and not inhale anything that I don't need to. I don't, I barely, I was going to say I don't drink, but I barely drink. I do, but I, I got drunk for the first time in over two years on New Year's. Otherwise, I don't even drink to get drunk. Like I'll have a glass of wine or like a drink when having dinner with friends or something, but I don't get drunk. I don't smoke weed. That I stopped years ago, but I would still kind of do it here and there. Socially, don't do that anymore. Obviously, I don't smoke cigarettes and haven't for many years. And so now I really rarely vape too. It's like drinking and socializing and vaping go hand in hand for me. And I weaned myself down. I started at 12 way back when and I weaned myself down to zero and I've been vaping zero for several years and now I just I don't even have the addiction to vaping that I used to which I that is amazing for me that's what I wanted so enough rambling it's probably about like five minutes into this video and you're like I came for the best of not your life story bitch so let's continue you well is the best vape company in my opinion for 2019 I liked everything that they came out with but I do have a couple other like um honorable mentions. Well, actually this is you will. Um, this is a little, I actually like this little tiny guy. This was perfect for New Year's. I didn't think it was going to be, but it was, and I haven't vaped on it since New Year's. So what day is it? It is the 12th. So I've been vaped on it in almost two weeks and I don't know if it's dead or not. No, actually I vaped on it a little bit when editing, I think. And it's still, I didn't think the battery was gonna last me a uh, New Year's, New Year's party. Ooh, I 
love that and um honestly the flavor in that and the flavor in every single one of these other honorable mention vapes i have is the best e-liquid of 2019 and that goes to cloud kiss that's by yours truly <laughs> i'm not even ashamed like this is such a freaking good flavor and if you don't agree that's cool taste buds are different but this is cloud kiss and you can get it at usvapeco.com maybe i don't know honestly haven't tried to go get it in a long time with all these vape bands who knows it uh the owners sold the company without telling me things changed I don't even know like you probably know more about my own flavor than I do because I this is pretty much the only thing that I vape now. Cloud Kiss, isn't it so cute? The bottle art doesn't even look the same anymore. Um, my friend Maddie used to work for Bonsai Vapor and she helped me create this and like made it as beautiful as it is now. So that is the number one e-liquid of 2019. Don't come for me. And my honorable mentions go to this because oh it's so freaking pretty this is the me pod by me one this probably doesn't work did you hear that i mean i thought it wasn't gonna work and it did so i mean two pods like pod systems here and i got another one another pod system and then an honorable mention that i don't have I'm like where did it go i it must be on my shelf in my shelf of things that I'm going to be giving away because all of my old vape stuff, so all of the stuff I looked at in 2019, all of the e-liquid I give away monthly over on my Patreon to my Patreons. www.patreon.com slash vapes. Link will be in the description below if you want to join and get it in on the monthly giveaways. This will, might be one of them. I don't know. I was gonna say this will be one of them, but how many do I really need to hoard? This also gets an honorable mention. This is the Wocket by Snow Wolf. It is freaking awesome, freaking powerful. It has remained on my desk, which is, that says a lot because I don't know. Maybe I should move the camera. You see all that? Oh, 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 I can't move it up. Anyway, if I could move it up, you'd see, but it's, my camera's locked in place. Um, that's where all of the vape stuff goes that I know that I'm not going to use. But if I like it, then it sits on my desk and I use it. Also, the honorable mention that I was <laughs> just talking about, sorry. Like I said, I have no script. I just sat down and decided I was gonna film this. The IPV, I think it's the version three mini, the auto squonking one. That also deserves a, a mention because that's freaking awesome. Once I finally figured out how to use that, I think it's really cool because it's like the flavor and power of like a little RDA, but you don't have to keep dripping and it's an auto squonk so you don't have to squonk. Like it just kind of did all of it for you if you were like a RDA user. But that does not get the best RDA of 2019. The best RDA of 2019 goes to The Barrage by Asmodis and Thesis, vaping with Thesis. Shout out to my boy. Of course, I did put a different drip tip on here, so this did not come with it, but it like matches perfectly. And I actually did take this to a Christmas party that I went to and used it all night long and had everyone being like, oh my God, it's so cool because it's rainbow. I'm like, I know. Mm -mm 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 -mm. That is so good. <laughs> My flavor, it's in there. So let's recap and then I'll do some more honorable mentions for e-liquid. Recap, you will, best vaping company. It's the year of the pod, so pods kind of win and I have a hard time picking which pod I like over the other, but I'm just gonna go with UL Pods because UL is the best vape company, best vape hardware manufacturer to me. Best e-liquid is mine, Cloud Kiss, and there's no shame there, so don't even try me. And the best RDA is the Barrage RDA. I'm not an RDA user and I never have been, and it looks like I never will be, but for someone who doesn't use RDAs, that one was definitely the most pleasurable to vape. So we'll move on to some honorable mention e-liquids that have remained at my desk side which means I wasn't wanting to give them away but also because I vape so much less than I ever have they're still pretty full but we've got lemon lush by the Rockford project super good we have um, Kintaro by the steam co which is a taro root vape of some sort and I also had another one up there that was by Boba, but I don't know where it went. Like I, I, did I put it on that shelf? I don't think so. Anyways, that one was also a tarot root, super, super good. I think that was the first 
e-liquid video I did of 2019. Then we have a deep fried apple pie by Vaporfy. You know, I really liked Vaporfy and Direct Vapor, they're like sister companies. And then they just kind of stop, like literally cut off communication, can't even reply, like can't send emails to the email rep that I had, like it comes back and says, my email can't be sent, so I don't know. What the hell? And last but not least, we have cotton cookies, but this flavor isn't even available, and that makes me really sad. By Artist Liquids, Ken, vaping with Ken, I pretty sure he deleted his channel, actually gave me this flavor, and it's so freaking good. It's like a cotton candy cookie macaroon flavor, and I loved it. So that's all of the things that I am going to show you. If something's missing, oops, you know, like I might edit it in later if I'm editing this video because I'm hoping to get this video up tomorrow. So if you're watching this on the 13th of January, I did it. <laughs> but you know, I'm filming right now while my son is asleep and that's literally usually the only times I have to film. So I really have to use my time wisely and that's another thing and another reason why I haven't had much time for YouTube this last year is because when my son is sleeping, it's really the only time that I have. and. I have to pick between like when he's sleeping, do I take care of myself, shower, shave, you know, clip my toenails. I always joke about clipping my toenails, but it's not even really a joke. Like sometimes I forget because I just don't take the time. I'm busy doing something else. So do I take care of myself? Do I take care of the house? Cause laundry, dishes, that is the adult never ending story. Sweeping, mopping, hello. Or do I sit and try to work and do social media and stuff? But also another one of my goals for 2020 was to put my phone down more, which is hard when your job is online. Now I've definitely backed off a lot more because I just, I want to have spend time with my son like I don't want to be wrapped up in my computer and my phone but also I, I need to be because I need to make income so it's like it's such a fine line and it's I need to find my balance I just used 2019 as a year of getting used to being home and getting in the groove of being a mom. So everything changed when we moved home. Now it's been a year and we're in a good groove. He's going to be a year and a half next week and I cannot believe the time has gone so fast. If you are watching this channel and you want to see more of my life, I do have a life channel where I upload vlogs, reviews, hauls, uh, DIYs, makeup video, like all the stuff that I love, all of my hobbies and things. So if you want to see more content from me, that is a channel to go check out. I'll definitely be uploading there more. What another goal of 2020 is to upload here more when possible but like it's just looking really 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 bad for the vaping industry so who knows but uh thanks for watching this rambly video if you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up feel free to subscribe to this channel for more vape videos and i'll see you guys in the next one